talking. This is the first time I publish a, a Facebook video and I feel compelled to do it because this is in behalf of Ken Keith, which I admire and appreciate what he does for, for humanity. Uh, he's been deliberated by many videos and the latest is uh, a response to Max Egan uh, who was interviewed in the show of Richie Allen and it wasn't very good interview if you ask me um, Richie Allen seems that he was putting Ken on trial more than an interview this become an argument because he opened the interview with an accusation and you really need to watch the interview in the order there were they were done first Max Egan and then Ken O'Keefe because then you're going to understand why Ken O'Keefe reacted the way he reacted. Uh, he was being accused uh, by a document that Max Egan published. Supposedly Max Egan took this document as a blackmail and Ken O'Keefe he was portraying this document as a not as a warning, but as an opportunity to Max Egan to come forward and explain what the concerns were. And, and all become out of context. I, I would say it's all out of context. And, and if uh, Ken let go the people in the, in the mission or they resign, I don't think that is a big issue. And if these people were workers or they were humanitarians like Ken, then it will be a different will be a different argument. But apparently these people were workers. Their problem was because they were not getting paid. And when you are a peace activist, uh, you get paid when there's money and you don't get paid when there's no money. And if these people got mad because Ken Kim wasn't giving them answers. I guess this is not a role of a worker to demand answer from the boss if there were there were demanding the payment. Um, it, it isn't clear if there is a, a contract, employment contract, and that will change everything because if there is a, an employment contract between these people, they can demand they can demand payment. But if they're doing it on behalf of the mission, because the mission is a mission, it's for the good of everybody, it's not a work where you go eight to five, and uh, it's a big difference. Um, I stand with Ken O'Keefe, I always have, because I have followed his trajectory as a peace activist, and I will always stand on the middle when it comes to siding with with activists, I never will support one over the, the other one, not in public, um, because I think that is detrimental for our cause. But this time, I am going to, I am going to side with, with Ken. And this might bring me enemies, I don't care, because I know, I know Ken, I know what he has done, I have followed him for many years. And I don't think an interview is going to define what a mission is, or um, fighting a crew, or resigning, it's not going to define either uh, a mission. Also, I want to uh, mention about a video that is done in the internet about uh, Ken driving a car with Sofia, a girl apparently he's dating. Um, that is not an issue, that is personal life. Whatever you do with your personal life is yours. And it, it, cannot, be, it cannot be used against him. If she like erotica, or she like uh, dark music, or whatever, whatever she does, she's an artist in her own way, and that has nothing to do with the mission, and it's not, and it's not either uh, something that we're going to critique on Kent, okay? Um, that's his life, his personal life, I will say. Just because he's a public figure, that doesn't mean he deserves a, a personal life and can do whatever he wants. Um, because that's just another thing that is being used against him. And he has said also that he can prove that he hasn't taken any money 
from the 115,000 that were collected for the mission. And he, he repeated, he repeated. And probably if you ask him in his blogs to send you a copy and maybe a statement from bank account, whatever the money is, uh, I believe he can, he can furnish you with that information so you will be happy. Um, I don't think he has to because the money that he that he collected he collected for various purposes and I think one of them will be by himself to eat to travel to do everything that he has to do for for this uh, uh, mission that he has taken on on behalf of all of us uh, that's the way I see it and I'm not expecting to see results in one year or two or five because I see the case of many humanitarians that they've been working all their life. I put as a temple, uh, Jordan Maxwell. Uh, he's another humanitarian in, in different, with different venues. Um, he's been exposing dark societies that they have a, a, a power over us. And he's been doing it for 40 years. And still, still he, he is fighting against the powers because the powers want to destroy him. And in some way they have to, they have to, because, uh, I mean, not that they had to destroy him, they had to destroy Maxwell. He lived very poor, he's homeless, his uh, uh, house was burned once, all his documents were stolen. It's his own online was stolen, uh, but he's still he's still fighting. He doesn't give up. He's still fighting for all of us. And I see Ken something in the same situation. That is, his mission is not going to take one year or two, one hundred thousand dollars. He's going to take millions of dollars if he's going to he's going to do something meaningful for us. And we have to understand that we can expect that he will fix the world in one year. And with all the problems that he's facing all the time, with people always trying to derail everything that he start, it's very difficult. You have to understand. You have to understand that one interview doesn't define him. That even one mission doesn't define him. You have to follow his whole life, everything that he has done, including the time that he was in Gaza, including the time that uh, that he engaged himself in the Mavi Marmara or all the videos that he has uh, that he has um, published in behalf of all of us and uh, putting in risk his life because yes we all are in 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 the risk of our life anybody that fights against the status quo we are at risk don't don't kid yourself if you think you are safe nobody is safe is not that he has to flee for his life that he did it for us right i stand with ken o'keefe and i think uh, we should all stand in the middle and just stand for peace don't side with people don't start rumors don't follow rumors the deeds speak for the person okay only the deeds deeds the words are done with the wind. Okay? Peace.